thought I'd bring you back at this stage rather than showing you um, how I've machined this out of the out of a round piece of slab. Um, this is where I'm up to. So I've got my overall shape machined to size. Um, it's at the right width, it's at the right length. So it's 98 wide by 130 mil long. Um, and um, I've got the M8 clearance holes drilled through here with counter bores. So those are 14 millimeter counter bores to take the head of an M8 cap screw. I've drilled the M6 clearance holes at the front, so they're 6.1, and these are at 40 millimeter centers between these and as is with these. Um, so they're an odd size front to back um, because I changed my mind. Um, I was originally um, going for M8 uh, for strength, but they're a little bit big, um, probably a little bit out of scale. Um, so um, they won't be in the line of sight, they'll be around the back of the uh, multi-fix tool holder. These ones at the front, I just wanted to be a little bit smaller and a bit more in keeping with the scale of the machine. So I've gone for M6. So these um, these will be counterboard. Um, I've had to order uh, an 11 millimeter uh, end mill to do that. Uh, I haven't got one in my toolbox. Um, so when that arrives, I'll put this back up and I'll um, I'll put those counterboards in. Um, so um, we're not to finished thickness yet. Um, I haven't decided what thickness I'm going to take it to yet, but um, all of the features that are going to go in on this face are in. So, um, so the slots in, um, that's a nice fit with um, this um, single piece T-nut. So the tenon fits in there quite nicely. So that's a nice fit in there. And, um, and so the next uh, stage for this face will be to surface grind the underneath. Um, so it's nice and flat, so it doesn't twist when I uh, tighten it down um, onto the cross slide. Although it's really thick, um, I can't see this going anywhere, but it should be flat. So it's reasonably flat. Um, I gave it a rub on the surface plate um, but it's picking up on the on the corners, so there is a little bit of twist in it, um, but nothing too bad. Um, so the next steps after that, um, after I've surface ground the underneath, um, I'll um, I will I will settle on a thickness. So I'll so I'll machine this to a to an overall thickness, um, and then what I'll do is. Um, I'll machine some facets onto it. So I've marked it out. Um, so there's an M10 thread to go into here. Uh, that'll be to accept the post, which will clamp the, um, which will align, and um, there'll be a nut on the end of it to clamp the uh, the, the multi-fix tool post onto here. So that's M10, and I've marked out where that's going to be. Um, and then I'll be milling some facets onto here. So I've marked a line along here and all around so this is 10 millimeters so there'll be a face width of 10 millimeters there and then I'll be milling um, a facet all the way along there and then I'll mill a facet onto there as well like that so that'll be a different angle to that one and the same on here there'll be a facet mill machined onto there so that um, these faces will just drop away like that um, and it'll it'll be a bit nicer to look at a bit nicer to use um, and I, I may I may put some uh, chamfers or some some rounded um, fillets on the edge here just so that it's um, so you don't catch your your wrists on it and things like that just so there's no sharp edges um, so that's where we're up to and then, um, so I'll bring you back when there's a bit more to see. Okay, uh, so I thought I'd bring you back at this stage. Um, here is the uh, solid tool mount. Um, so what have I done? Well, 
add surface ground underneath so that's a nice nice and flat nice surface finish um, I've counterboard these M6 clearance holes as you can see um, I've surface ground the top and I've milled these relief angles on here on these three sides as you can see um, so um, these need a bit more um, fettling just to take out the milling marks um, so that um, I'll just give them a polish so that they look nice uh, deburred all of the edges um, uh, just trial fitting screw heads into these um, the M6 um, cap heads fit nicely into these they're all under flush um, the cap screw that fits in there kind of protrudes out a little bit so I'm not too happy with that so um, I'll probably countersink these and use countersunk uh, socket screws uh, so that the screw head is under flush and looks a bit tidier than having a, the head of the screw stick up, sticking up above that face um, but it's taken shape um, so this is nearly finished now um, as I say I'm, I'll probably just countersink these holes um, these are fine um, give these a bit more of a polish and this part is done oh no apart from I need to drill and tap a hole in there um, so then it will be done um, it'll just be a final assembly um, mod to make to it when the uh, tool post mounts onto here um, I'll be drilling and pinning this but um, so yeah apart from those two things it's pretty much there so um, I'll bring you back uh, when I'm ready to um, put the hole in and um, I'm actually thinking about it um, I forgot to say I may I may put a hole in the back here um, which I'll explain later um, so yep that's where we're up to for now I'll bring you back shortly